Hello, I'm Ryan Clark, I'm Executive Director for the Port Coquitlam Sports Alliance, bringing you the latest and greatest from the sports clubs here that we participate in our city. Today, we have a great opportunity with Tri-Cities Community TV here at Lee Square to talk to the leaders of Ducks Volleyball, one of the top clubs in Canada. Today, we have Evan and Brian, who are the leaders of the Ducks Volleyball, again, one of the leading volleyball clubs in Western Canada, if not the country. Gentlemen, welcome. Thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having us. Thanks Guys, us. you have put together Again, teams that have won national and provincial titles consistently. You get through and you're always producing quality and I appreciate you get them right from an early age. What's the secret? How do you get these players from young through to right up to the ends of their teenage careers moving into college volleyball? What's the secret of building this club so strong? I think there's two different things there. There's attracting young athletes uh, and then there's keeping the elite older athletes and they've, they've been pretty different battles for us. Mm -hmm throughout the years. So, you, so you're saying recruitment. What, what is the recruitment process? Because I pre appreciate you have to look also for height sometimes. There's setters who maybe are more your normal height, but you also got to go find these taller ones to be your hitters and your middle blockers. We start with a really strong base at the young age groups, yep. and we run development programs throughout the entire year. Mm -hmm. So we make sure that at every age level, we have certain things that athletes mm -hmm. we're looking for to help them be successful. We invest a lot of resources into our grade five, six, seven programs now to ensure that we have a base of athletes that can grow with our programs. So, why, okay, so why do they stay with the program? Because obviously, you've got to get them from an elementary age right up and through, you know, multiple years through late in their teens, and then they're so excited that they move on to college volleyball. What's how do you, how do you do that? What are some of the subtleties that keeps them there with the club? I think they appreciate the family that uh, that we create. Uh, family with the entire club, uh, their own coaches, their teammates. Uh, that culture is really important to us. Yeah, I really like the statement, it takes a village to raise a child. Our entire club has passionate um, coaches who want these athletes to succeed. Mm -hmm. And I feel that the connection that we build with those athletes mm -hmm ensures that they feel a part of our community and our family. So do you take them on trips or, or is it more about just traveling the competition or is it about the training? Is that what bonds them all together? I think travel for sure helps a team to bond. Uh, that's one of the reasons we do it. Uh, our elite teams travel a lot uh, internationally as well, primarily in, in the States. Um, part of that's providing top competition opportunities. Uh, and part of that's giving the athletes and their families a chance to be seen uh, and have the opportunity to be recruited and, and play volleyball into their post-secondary years, if that's a goal of theirs. You've had a lot of athletes go on to play post-secondary at the universities, both here in British Columbia, across the country, and down in the NCA, you know, the top tier, Division One. You've had a lot of athletes go down down there. How's that like? Is that part of it? How does that work into your formula and, and what's the feedback you get from them? Is, do they find that you know the base you created helped them get there? We've changed our models over the past five to six years to accommodate high performance training. Mm -hmm. So our athletes train three to four times a week. Uh, they receive help from Poco Sport to receive scholarships. Mm -hmm. um, we've just invested more time to help them be successful mm -hmm. and more prepared for the challenges that come with playing at that level. If I'm a parent and I want my daughter to go play volleyball, what are some of the characteristics I need to, to help them along with? What are some things I should be looking for to see if volleyball is the right sport for them? I think that in volleyball, one of the key characteristics that drives athletes is the sense of being part of a team, mm -hmm. a greater sense of belonging. Mm -hmm. It's not an individual sport. So if your son or daughter loves being a part of a team, then I think volleyball is a sport that naturally athletes gravitate to, mm -hmm. where you can be athletic, aggressive, and still be a part of something greater than just yourself for that moment. And one of the challenges you have that I've seen before with your team is you, again, you're getting these, when you see them coming coming out of grade 12, you have some of these girls that are 6'1", 6 6'2", 6 6 yeah. They're going through some growing pains, call yeah. it, you know, through the mm -hmm. time they're with you. How do you guys manage that? You know, you got someone who started with you at 5'8", or 5'7", and now they're 6'1", 6 6 How do you guys manage that? Because imagine there's coordination and confidence and all the rest that comes How do we manage them being larger than us? Yeah, so, that, yeah, we, so we can communicate with yeah, them? Yeah, exactly. Eventually we start, uh, we start looking down at them. By the time they leave us, we're usually looking up at them. Um, you're right, they don't all start out 6'2". Mm -hmm. uh, so one of our goals within our club is to provide uh, as many opportunities as we can at younger ages. Yeah. Um, so that we don't miss athletes, so that we get everyone who would like to be involved with the club yeah. involved at an early age, 
Uh, we don't know if someone's going to go from 5'2 to 6'2 to yeah. or 5'2 to 5'4, yeah. but we want all of those athletes involved. Um, we work really hard to place good coaches with our young athletes um, and as many as we can so that we don't just have one team, but we've got multiple opportunities uh, for athletes to play now and for, get started. For year round, you've also kind of started into beach volleyball now too, which is a yeah. huge Olympic sport and, and great opportunities to get scholarships down in the U.S. as well with beach volleyball. How's that going for you guys? Our beach volleyball program is one of the largest in Western Canada. It's grown from 100 to over 180 athletes, male and female. Mm -hmm. We start up in early June mm -hmm. after national championships and we go all the way till August. And it probably provides a strong base, a foundation for our athletes to develop their skills. And this year you started with guys programs as well for yeah. boys, which is I know predominantly Ducks was a, a females club. Absolutely. Now you've, you've opened it up to the guys too, to give them opportunity. We started last year sort of as a, a trial run. Uh, we kept it to one team to see how it would go. Uh, it sounded like it was an enjoyable experience for everyone. They had a chance to achieve some success uh, and it's something we wanted to parlay into two teams this year and, and hopefully more in the future. Boys need opportunities to play around here. Absolutely, and I appreciate you guys just wrapping up here. You know, you, you have a lot of people who try out, hundreds and hundreds, but I know you have to, you, you know, there's only so much gym space and only so many coaches. How many players do you like to keep in the club total at one given year? I think the answer to that is as many as we can provide resources for. Okay. So as we grow, one of our challenges is, is facilities and, and coaches equipped to train these athletes. We'd like to provide as many opportunities as we can mm -hmm. so that kids can play sports. Not just high performance, but throughout all ages. Through groups. your house leagues all the way. House there. leagues all the way. We want volleyball to grow with female and male athletes and we will provide as many spots as we can put together. That's great. Gentlemen, thank you for being part of today's show. It's great. Keep up the great work. You guys are doing a phenomenal job developing volleyball here in Port Coquitlam and creating top-tier athletes and great experiences for everybody. So, Brian, Evan, thank you very much. This is Ryan Clark for Tri-Cities Community Television, the Port Coquitlam Sports Alliance. We learned some great stuff about one of the top volleyball clubs in the country today, and we've seen the opportunities are there. So if you're a local parent and you want to get your son or daughter into volleyball, Ducks Volleyball.